Hi, I'm Martin Perhiniak. Welcome back to the digital art series here on PSD Touch Plus. Today we are going to continue uh, the previous episode with this castle painting concept um, where in the previous episode we got to a point where we had all the lines in place all the brick texture and even uh, the color blocks and we only need to do the detailing in this episode only need to do the detailing this is the fun part but it usually takes more time so let's get started and as you can see um, we have everything in place so we can start adding the details on all uh, the parts of the castle and this is what I really enjoy uh, when I get to this uh, stage because here you can really play with lights, colors and uh, you can use your imagination to add some fun details and um, most of the times these uh, little added uh, elements and uh, parts m can make the whole concept interesting and uh, realistic as I said in the first uh, part of this tutorial I don't want to make a completely realistic uh, image in this case I just want to make a concept for this building in this castle and I chose a photo background in this case but sometimes I just draw on white background it depends on what you want to achieve in this case I wanted to have an, an interesting uh, photo environment for this drawing this painting but at the same time I want to keep an illustration feel on the castle itself so you can see now I'm working on the left uh, tower of the castle and I'm using the dodge and the burn tool to add the shadows and the highlights and I also use the brush tool a lot to add all, all those small details so you can see I'm now working on uh, the top of the tower and I spend a little bit more time on this tower than I'm, well, I'm going to spend on the other towers but you will see how it goes so you see I already uh, use the light source uh, which is on the left in this image and um, the shadows are not that strong um, but because that's not a direct sunlight the sun is already setting behind the mountains if you have a direct sunlight you will have harder or harsher shadows uh, cast shadows but in this case uh, the shadows are not that strong and I try to keep the colors muted because again as I said it's a um, sunset so in the sunset as you can see on the mountains the colors are not that vibrant you can see now I'm adding small details on the tower like um, the uh, green at the bottom and I also added shadow on the original photograph and I'm using masking or actually in this case I think I'm just using eraser tool to erase some parts at the bottom to make it look a bit more realistic now I'm, I'm using the burn tool and I'm burning some details just to make it make it uh, the, uh, the shadows create the shadows so you can imagine if the light source is on the left if the tower is in front then it will cover that wall uh, part and uh, it won't be uh, it will be darker so now I'm adding some highlights on the tower as you can see and some more details on that little uh, tower on the top I'm painting it over some uh, sometimes I just try to uh, change some details and probably that's uh, the final detail that I'm going to get on this one I'm still adding some small details but now I'm going to start uh, or continue drawing uh, details and I'm going to draw the details closer to this or close to this tower I 
I'm just waiting for myself I'm probably setting a brush or something like that yeah so here now you can see it's the left uh, bit that that little uh, additional tower outside the castle which I'm working on and I'm adding some detail on it shadows around it and probably that's all I need on that I made it a bit darker as well so you can already see that the details or the parts that I worked on and that the details uh, they look much more realistic than all the other parts so that's all that it takes shadows highlights and some extra little details which can make it more realistic and obviously you need to uh, spend some uh, time to to get to this um, stage and you the more time you spend on detailing the the more realistic it can be so try to be patient and try to always learn from references it can be photographs or digital paintings but always look for these small details and uh, try to um, understand what are the details that can make your painting more realistic and more interesting it's not always realism realism that uh, will make your painting better it's uh, the whole artistic feel to it uh, your imagination and uh, your ideas that you incorporate in your design uh, because basically even though it's called art or the uh, digital art and painting it's still designed because you're always designing something you're designing a character a clothes or you're designing a castle in this case so it's always planning uh, using your imagination using references so it's a really interesting uh, thing whenever you come up with something new and you would like to show it how you you imagine something so you can see now I'm adding the same details around that area close to the tower on the left and you can see once you uh, apply details it it's quite fast to apply the same details on all the other parts it's just time consuming so you have to be patient and uh, uh, you just need to continue and uh, do the same thing all around I'm drawing now the roof details and uh, I'm just drawing over also the uh, the outlines and I'm playing a bit with the color blocks as well and refining some edges on the towers on the top now I will do the same here on the bottom I add some extra details like the um, windows and those uh, roof details on the top of the tower and at the bottom now I'm erasing some parts and I'm also adding shadows on the photograph itself so to make the whole castle uh, make it look like more it's part of the photograph now I'm adding some details on the side of the castle which uh, won't be really visible because I'm going to make that much darker but still just to keep some extra detail under uh, the dark shadows it still uh, can be interesting and add to the value of the whole painting uh, you can imagine if the main light source is from the left uh, we will have most of these parts here on the right in shadow like the walls uh, even the front uh, door or that entrance and yeah, I added another detail an extra detail a little bridge and I'm just thinking of what else uh, I need there but probably I'm just going to leave that like that and as you can see I'm experimenting with some extra detail elements and you'll s you can see that once you add these little miniature uh, details parts to the castle it, it makes a real difference a big difference it can uh, show the scale so the the bigger your object is 
uh, it's it's easier to show the size of it if you if you use these little small uh, small little elements like the windows and I will use later on flags as well on top of the towers so these little elements can show the scale and um, if if uh, you have time you can always use a character as well let's say just place a character uh, closer to the viewer so closer in the image and make make the character really small then you can tell that in if something is further away and it still looks big then it must be really big compared to the character so that's a that's a very um, traditional way of, of just showing uh, perspective and size in a two-dimensional form um, now you can see uh, with the main building I'm getting there and I'm I'm uh, finalizing some details on the towers like the bricks in this case I drew it uh, by hand I just wanted to have a, a little bit different uh, texture on it I'm drawing now the small towers and I'm adding again uh, small details on them now I'm working on that little tower on the left and I'm almost done with the main uh, building I'm just adding some highlights on it and shadows so the cast shadows and then there's a shadow on the right side you can see now that it's darker it looks much more realistic so you can actually see now yes the light source is on the left so it makes it more the higher contrast makes it more obvious now I'm working on the entrance and uh, I just drew quickly a road to the entrance as well and now I'm adding some details on the bottom I try to merge the castle into the photograph uh, more and more on the way I need to keep that area dark because it's covered so it can't there can't be any like real highlights there but maybe later on I will add some light source because it's a bit too dark uh, for the entrance I would like to show the entrance so probably I will add some artificial light there uh, torches or something like that but first I need to finish I try to be disciplined and I will finish um, all the details so I'm I'm continue working on uh, this middle section or just above the entrance part I'm playing with the highlights and shadows, adding texture and just refining some other parts as well. I try to keep all the parts visible. So I'm using highlights and shadows to um, make them uh, make them stand out. Like here you can see I, I don't want to lose the details on the tower so I try to keep it uh, different from the from the parts behind it now I'm working on this interesting tower here on the right which has several levels and um, I'm adding first the roof details and then I'm adding the small details I also work at the same time on the the other bigger tower on the right so now I would like to finish these two now I'm adding the bricks details and then I'm going to add uh, some details at the bottom I'm just going back to the walls a little bit adding some extra details there and also some extra windows <laughs> just to make the whole castle a bit more uh, realistic and to, just to increase the scale as well by adding more levels so uh, we are almost done by the way we only need to finish the right part of the painting 
finish those towers and the bridge so that's what I'm going to work on now you can see I'm working on the bridge I'm adding the texture drawing in the little details quickly you don't have to be really precise just just try to be quick and and uh, just get get the job done the, the little parts add them and uh, if you if you want to achieve photorealism then you will probably need to spend more time you will probably need to work on each little window separately to make sure the light is is perfect and here on the entrance as you can see now I added uh, the a diagonal shadow which represents uh, the angle of light which probably would be more flat uh, than this but for this uh, presentation is just I think it's enough it doesn't have to be that uh, realistic and I added all these shadows on the right and uh, I have all the details so now I'm playing a little bit with the colors and I would like to add that nice warm color coming from the Sun and also I would like to add some cold cooler shadows so blue on the shadows and this orange red red color or coming from the Sun so I, I did this on two separate layers which are now clipped onto the layer where I have my drawing so they only show up on that and they won't show up on the background now I'm playing with some adjustment layers I'm, I used levels and uh, hue saturation just to uh, change the colors a bit and as you can see I increased the overall contrast in the image because I felt like it's uh, it's a bit too matte and uh, I wanted to make it a bit more like an illustration so it was more realistic before now it's a bit more like an illustration but that's what I wanted to do so now you can see I added some flags and uh, I some add some detail there in the middle that's like the uh, main flag on the castle then I just experiment with a couple of more details but um, then I just change my mind and I take off those flags and instead of the flags because I have enough flags on the top of the towers I'm going to create a flame a torch uh, which I was talking about just to add some um, light here on the right side and once I have uh, the, the flame that looks like a torch I just simply copy and paste it around uh, the entrance area and then I will place some uh, light also around the castle in some areas and now I'm using my brush and I just change the opacity and I uh, use a soft edge brush and just draw uh, an orange color around the torches just to make them look they are actually uh, lighting up their environment so now we are almost done I just add some final details like on the roofs and just working here and there on the the castle just to finalize some details and we are now now really close to the final details the final result I'm working on that little uh, refuge on the top of the mountain on the right you can see I'm adding the same details there I I don't want to uh, key, uh, leave that out so I'm now drawing the road or that little path coming down from the top and going somewhere to a back entrance and I just want to keep that subtle it doesn't have to be a first read in the image it just makes it a bit more interesting and now I'm almost done or actually I think that's probably the final detail I'm just adding some small uh, extra details here on the bottom I'm using a, a custom brush which I created and I think that's all so um, as I said you can always make it more photorealistic if you spend some more time on it but now that we look at uh, look at the image from a little bit further away you can see it's it's quite nice in in this setting 
and um, I uh, I think it's really good for this uh, tutorial just to show you how you achieve something like this from completely start uh, to finish and you saw all the steps that I used uh, it's not really complicated it's it's a bit time-consuming but it's really fun and it's it's worth uh, spending time on stuff like this so if you feel inspired by a photograph just always get that photograph in Photoshop open it up and then start drawing on top of it or just simply use a, a plain background and start drawing on top of that it doesn't have to be a photograph I just find sometimes a photograph more inspiring to work with so thanks a lot that was the second part of this tutorial and that's the end of this tutorial you can always uh, think about how to continue from this point on you can always have an army marching into the castle or uh, going out from the castle you can have the soldiers coming here in the front or you can even have like siege of this castle have some war machines in the front catapults and ballistas and um, shooting and throwing stones at the castle I don't know make it uh, all make the castle uh, a bit destroyed some of the elements on and flames so it's only up to your imagination and it's a really fun way to practice and to study and learn new things in Photoshop and just to improve your skills in digital painting so my main mission with this series is to inspire you to help you see how fun and easy it is to create something new and something interesting uh, and I'm sure you will you will uh, if, if you follow all the things that I showed here and you practice them I'm sure you will achieve amazing uh, results and you will come uh, you will create some great uh, digital paintings in the future so good luck and I'm really glad you followed me this far hopefully there will be other tutorials in the future if you like this series please let me know in the comments and uh, I'm sure we will see each other in another tutorial next time so thanks a lot for your attention and I hope you will join me next time bye